Ramon Montana, you've been in a lot of Floyd Mayweather camps, man. How's it been just knowing Floyd over the years? Well, it's amazing, man. It's amazing, it's insane. Like, the best, the best feeling ever. Like, probably him, over him, is the best. What I can say. What about this particular camp, working with him? How is it? Well, you know, like, I have been working for him for a long time, and uh, for, like, five fights. And, uh, and that one, like, uh, I see him, like, very smart fighter. Madur fighter and, and I insane. Like. Okay, now how about him outside of the ring? Have you had a bond with him? What what have you got to know about him as a man? You know. Oh well, it's like some people say uh, he's a, he did he, 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 arrogant, but with me personal, he's a awesome guy, awesome best friend. He always take care of me, so he's a fucking amazing guy. Okay, now this particular camp, do you think it helped him the fact that he didn't have to have a long layoff? He you know he fought Robert Guerrero a few months ago. Well, no, no, he's very sharp, really. like. He's, he's ready to go, right? If the fight is today, he's ready tonight, so he's like, no, he's not, nothing affects us. What about his fight with Canelo? Is Canelo a threat at all? Well, I can see, like, I'm Mexican and I know, you know and I love my my country, but I, I don't see Canelo win the fight. Yeah, so he's a good fighter, but he don't have too many experience, like, like Floyd. How about the Mexican, just the culture they have of rooting their fighters? How, you know, and how Canelo got to be such a huge star? Like, how did that come about? Well, you know, like Mexico is big. He's big in Mexico because the TV, the TV made him like so big right now over there. And uh, he's a good fighter too, but he's getting better. But he's not ready for Florida. All right, thanks.